All right, Shalom. Start first by giving all praise and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem HaRakakudash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders at the great millstone who rule well. Greetings, salutations, and blessings unto the elect. Okay. <clears throat> this is the brother Shaquat from another uh, from the Las Vegas camp. Another video. This is, uh, I mean, these chariot sightings are, 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 are becoming uh, more and more frequent as the prophecies say they would be. Okay, that that they're that they're real, that they're true. Okay, they were they were present when we walked out of uh, ancient Egypt, and they're present today. Okay, um, <clears throat> and they've been present throughout uh, throughout history. Okay, and there's you look at some of the uh, the ancient artwork, and they're in there. Okay, you can probably just Google. Matter of fact, maybe I'll do that in a moment. Um, Google ancient. Let me do it. Let me just hold. Bear with me one moment. Okay, so I, I googled it. Ancient paintings with UFOs, and look what we got. Okay, they have these in there. Those are the chariots that the angels are in. You can look at this one here. You can see it. Okay, and they got the the um, how was I? But that's Cesare Borgia and that and that type of painting. So we got this one here. Okay, what what it in there? This one is what it in there. Okay, All right, they're actually showing you where it's at. Okay, they're 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 in these ancient paintings. Uh -huh. All right, look, sitting up on a chariot of bullet. The chariot's in the sky like that. Look at look at this. This is nothing new. And 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 the fact that they're in the Bible, look, it's got them sitting on the cloud. The cloud is the chariots, man. Okay. Now, do they have the proper images? No. Look at this. This is a cave painting. Okay, the big chariot with a bunch of little chariot lights around it. Hey, and this is all it may seem science fiction to you or whatever. Come on, it may seem science fiction to you, but when the sky is flooded with these things. And I'm calling them things. When they're flooded with them, then what you gonna say? Okay, people love to call them UFOs, but we know what they are. They're actually the chariots of, of God. Okay, they're the vehicles. The chariot is just a vehicle. The chariots are, you know, are, are a vehicle that the angels and the Lord travel in. Right here. Okay, look, this is another one. They just got them in here. Got them all over these paintings. Okay. You know? They're all over these paintings. Okay, and it's funny how many show up in these biblical paintings. Biblical paintings, okay? So, you guys should understand that this is in the Bible. So, when I... That's uh, tripping. Let's see. So, when I... Yeah, anyway. It's mess. So, when I show you... um. This video, you know, the brother puts the scriptures in it and, and everything. But I'm going to actually pull some of the ones that he has, or just a few of them, just to, to drive the point home. But, 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 but watch, I believe this is the right time mark. <laughs> Back it up 10 seconds, hold on. And it's on the other side. Yeah. It's like it's turned around or something. Yeah, they don't sell no drones like that on Amazon, man. 
You can believe that they're drones or whatever all you want, man. But end of the day, when you see something like this in the sky, you know, you see something like that in the sky, and they're full of them with the naked eye. Because these, these cameras can only pick up so many things. Your eyes can pick up so many more things. It can observe so much more. Okay? And that's what happened in these scriptures. Okay, I'm going to go to uh, just a few scripts. Zechariah 5 and 1, it says, Then I turned and lifted up mine eyes and looked, and behold, a flying roll. Okay? And he said unto me, What seest thou? And I answered, I see a flying roll. And, and it said, The length thereof is 20 cubits, and the breadth thereof is 10 cubits. It described how big it was. Like, man, you don't understand. I'm seeing a, a, a chariot, man. I'm seeing a, a flying roll. That's all he could describe it as is a flying roll. All right. Oops. Right there. Um. Yep, it says uh, Ezekiel chapter 1, verse 4. And I looked, and behold, a whirlwind came out of the north, a great cloud, and a fire enfolding itself. That's that ball. Okay, that's why the light is, is round like that. And, and, and the brightness of it comes from the inside. From from like, like, like the source of it on the inside. Okay? For you guys to understand, this is not... When you see these things with your naked eye... You can, you can see the difference, okay? There's a big difference in what you see, just a light flashing. But this camera footage right here depicts, you know, it depicts a pretty good idea that you can tell that that's not just a, uh, a light in the sky. That's not just some, some satellite flashing and then it moved that fast. No way. And the fact that, you know, I caught it as something spiritual for me anyway. And she was like, King, come here. Hopefully this don't mess up the video. And she was like, King, come here. You know? Talk, sound like she was whistling for a dog or something. Okay? And what do we know about our king? Okay, let me finish reading this. It says, And I looked, and behold, a whirlwind came out of the north, a great cloud, and a fire enfolding itself. And, and a brightness was about it. That's that brightness radiating from the center. And out of the mist thereof as the color of amber and out of the mist of the fire. Yeah, so was the yellowish, oranges, rich orange color, um, yellow orange color uh, coming from it. Okay. Let me go now to, um, yeah, I'm going to close out with this just, just to keep this short and sweet, man. You know. Get to the point. Um, Revelation chapter 1 verse 7. And she said, King, come here, right? It made me think of this scripture. Okay, it made me think of Yahweh Shai returning uh, with the chariots, okay? It says, uh, Revelation 1 and 7. And because you know this is talking about him by the, by the revelation of Yahweh Shai Mashiach, which the Most High gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John. He sent the, word, the message down through the angel. The Most High uh, sent the message down through the angel unto John, the revelator. Okay. It says, Who bear record of the word of the Most High and of the testimony of Yahweh Shai of all the things that he saw and the vision that he was given. Okay. Down to the seventh verse. It says, Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him. And he cometh with clouds. They can only describe the chariot as clouds, because they didn't know how to, how to mean, you know, describe something sitting in the air like that. Matter of fact, let me this up real quick. Bear with me one moment. Okay, so look at this. You tell me what that looks like. There's another. One from the from the brother's page. You tell me what that looks like, sitting in them clouds. You know that's the that's the name of the video. You tell me what that looks like. It looks like part of the clouds. Okay, it looks like part of the clouds. That's why they just described it that way because that's all they knew how to. Des only way they knew how to describe it. Okay, and it says, "Behold, he come up with clouds, and every eye shall see him, because it sit what moves and 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 is uh, sitting in the heavens like that." But clouds, 
okay? But they didn't know what to say. So so Ezekiel called it a flying roll. I mean, Zechariah called it a flying roll. All right? And this is saying it's clouds. It's clouds and, and flying rolls all the time. When you go back into Exodus, it's talking about there was a, 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 a fire that shined down in the night and a cloud as a pillar in, in the uh a pillar of light in the, in the day, and in the night, uh, a cloud. And I mean, in the day, the cloud, and in the, in the night, a pillar of light. Okay? Because it was shining a light down upon the people, the, the path out of, out of Egypt. Okay? Uh, and, and even uh, Elisha and, uh, and uh, Elijah had, had encounters with them. Okay? They're all over these scriptures. But these scriptures I'm reading now, it says, Behold, he come up with clouds, and every eye shall see him. This is a future prophecy. This hasn't passed yet. Okay? Because what does it say? And they also which pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. Even so, amen. Right? Um, Let me get this other script. Bear with me one moment. Okay. And uh, so we're in Acts, the first chapter. It says, but ye shall receive power, Acts 8, uh, 1 and 8, the first chapter, Acts the first chapter. It says, but ye shall receive power, and after that the Holy Ghost will come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses both unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost parts of the earth. And when he had, so all this is coming to pass. We're, we're right at the doorstep of this power coming to the, to the men of the Lord, okay? It says, and when he had spoken these things while they beheld, he was taken up and a cloud received him out of their sight. That was a chariot that picked him up. Okay. And while they looked steadfastly toward heaven, as he went up, behold, two men stood by in white apparel. Okay. And it says, those were angels, by the way. I'll, I'll leave it simple like, like that. It says, which also said, ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? This same Yahweh Shai, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven. So the same way he got received up in the chariot, he going to return and come down from a chariot. Okay. And I believe the Lord spoke of it himself. Go to the book of Matthew right quick, 24, it's like 36. Um, let me see, where are we at? Maybe it's up above that a little bit. Let me take a quick look, bear with me one moment. Um, that's where we at. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, 26, it says, Wherefore, Matthew 24 and 26, Wherefore, if they shall send to you, behold, he is in the, okay, I believe it not, 27, For as the lightning come out of the east and shining even into the west, so shall the sun coming of the Son of Man be. He's going to come in the, in the church from the east. Okay. It happens. Um, yep, I'll read. I'll, I'll just uh, read twenty nine. Said immediately after the tribulation, which we're coming into the period of tribulation now. Okay, we're entering into Jacob's trouble in the um in the hour of temptation. Okay, so it says immediately after the tribulation of those days, shall the sun be darkened and the moon shall not give her light. It's, it's going to be. Uh, blocked out. You ain't going to be able to see it, right? It says, and the stars shall fall from heaven and the powers of heaven shall be shaken. It says, and then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. And that sign of the Son of Man, 144 right now, the sign of the Son of Man are the chariots, okay? But particularly when he himself shows, you going it's not just going to be a little flickering light in the sky moving around. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be clearly evident, like the one I showed with the clouds. It's going to be like that one. It's going to be like that, okay? But it's going to, and when you describe the one that talks about the mountain where you couldn't see the bottom of it, I believe it's an apocrypha, but you couldn't see the bottom of it, of which it began, and which it 
the, the base of the mountain. That's that's what it's about, man. He's coming in the big in the big in the big boy, man. You know, the flagship, if you will. Okay. Go back to the scripture. It says, um uh yeah, it says, Then shall the sign then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. And they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. Okay? He's going to come with power and great glory. When he gets here, he's going to... um, He's going to do this. It says... uh, Revelation 18 and 4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins. I'll come out of her, my people, okay? <clears throat> right? And that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. Because in that same moment, as he shows and flood the sky with the chariots, and there'll be World War III going on, the missiles will be shut off. And this will be the last moment while everybody's facing impending danger, imminent danger, and destruction from, from, the, from the missiles that are shot off to destroy America. Those plagues or those missiles will, will destroy this place, right? That's when the Lord is going to rescue his, his his elect out of America, out of you know, out of the places in the earth that are going to get destroyed in the, in this battle. All right. So seeing these uh, these images, man, things like this builds up our spirit because we know these are the vehicles that's going to get us out of here, man. We 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 going home. We getting up out of it's like getting released from jail, man. You, you ain't gonna, you gonna, you gonna crease your shirt up. You gonna do everything you gotta do to get up out of here, and that's what we gotta do, man. We gotta prepare ourselves to go home. Prepare ourselves to get out of here, okay? Because these are the vehicles that's gonna do it. All right. So Lord willing, this is edifying. So when you see you when you see these things in the sky, man, this is not. It says, look up. For your salvation draw of nine, man. When you see these chariots in the sky. Okay? Our salvation is that much close. So what is it? What does the uh, Romans say? For now is high time to wake up wake out of sleep. Alright? Time to wake up, man, and, and really immerse yourself uh in in the word and the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. Okay? Because uh a lot of destruction is coming, you know. And and the vehicles to rescue us out of it, man, are are here. They're already showing, and he's gonna. They're they're showing like, yep, we're we're here. He's about to. He's on his way pretty soon. He'll be here soon, sooner than you know. He's gonna pop up out of another dimension, man. He's gonna be up here on us, all right. And not everybody's getting saved. So you want to be on your best. It says doing all that 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 you'll be able to stand before the, the Son of Man. Before you have a shot. Okay. And doing all to stand. Okay. That's what we got to do. That's the time we're living in. Okay. So how do you escape the, the imminent destruction, the lake of fire of, you know, destruction of, of, of America in World War Three? This is the vehicle right here. This is the salvation that we're talking about. This is how you get saved out of that. Okay. And if you're afraid to get beamed up in a, into a UFO or a chariot, whatever you want, you know, a then this ain't for you, man. Cause you you probably worried about a martial law troop or something killing you, man. <clears throat> anyway, Lord willing, this is edifying, giving all praise and glories unto Yahweh Bashim, Yah Shai Bashim, Arakakwadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone, and greeting salutations and blessings unto the elect. To the next one. Hey, we getting up out of here, man. These these are the vehicles to to, to take us home. With that I say Shalom.